Hey guys, what up? It's Ray here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the lawnmower turret on transit on Black Ops 2 Zombies. So I like to call it the lawnmower turret. A lot of people just call it the turret. And basically where you make this is at the barn. So this is the stop after the... Let me just go ahead and actually grab some more ammo right here. But this is the stop after the diner. It's basically at the barn. A lot of people call it the farm. I call it the barn. You can call it whatever the frick you want to call it. So, right here, we have one zombie left. So, there's one zombie left. So, when you... Well, not one. Now there's one. But, when you arrive at the barn, go ahead and go into the barn here. And then go ahead and open up the house. Once you open up the house, you will be greeted with a workbench or crafting table. Known as in Minecraft, basically. It's not a crafting table. So... Go ahead and head upstairs, and upstairs on one of these couches, alright, it may not be up here, but on one of the couches would normally be the RPD. Now, it's not up here for me, which means it's obviously somewhere downstairs. That is a part that we need right there, so grab this part, that's basically like the ammo for it. It'll either be sitting on that shelf right there, or it'll be sitting right here, right next to the TV. So go ahead and add that to the workbench. And the bus is leaving and I don't care. And in order for the turret to work, you need the turbine. So make sure you make the turbine. Actually, we'll just kill this guy right there because that guy's slower. So in the shed right here should be the lawnmower. The lawnmower can be found right here or sometimes I have seen it over here next to the shack. So keep that in mind. So just go ahead and add the lawnmower to the workbench. And now lastly, we have to find the RPD. Again, the RPD most commonly found is up here on one of these three sofas. Preferably this one. That's where it's mostly at is on this sofa right here. But it's not up there for me. Which means the last place that it could be is either A, downstairs in the house. Alright, so you're going to want to go around the side of the house because... They mostly hide stuff on freaking zombies around the side of the house or in the middle here. Alright. Okay. Or it's in the barn. Those are the one or two places it could be. So just look around in the barn. You should see an RPD. It's not that hard to miss. Now that I said that, watch me miss it. <laughs> but sometimes, here it is. So it'll either be if it's not on the sofas in the uh, in the house on top, then it's probably in the barn either right here or I remember when we were playing online somebody found it down on those barrels right there. So check those three places. Go ahead and take the RPD and keep in mind you have to have a turbine in order for the turret to work. So just go ahead and go back to the workbench here and add the last bit, which is the RPD. Keep in mind not to run in front of this turret while it is working or else you're going to have a very bad day because, <laughs> because it's basically just going to kill you. Um, so keep that in mind. Also, when you're playing online with, with players, tell them not to go in front of the turret because they will die. So... And there have been some times where I've played with people who have not made the turn before and they actually just basically pretty much what they did was they stepped in front of it and died. So just go ahead and place your turn right here. This is my favorite place to place it because the zombies don't come up this way. Alright. And basically the turret can take out the zombies. So the reason why I'm showing you guys this this at round four is to show you guys the work that this thing can do now I try I did the video this is my second time doing the video I did it on round one well on round two actually and it didn't have the uh, the chaoticness I guess you would say so there are only one of two ways there's only one of two things that are gonna happen all right one, the turbine will break first. That's That always happens because you use the turbine in order to get out of the bus depot, okay? So the turbine will break before the turret breaks, all right? And just watch this thing go to work. Now, the only thing I do not like about the turret, okay, 
it does not give you any points. But the cool thing is you can sit here firing at zombies. And basically what I like to use this thing for is a last defense, okay? You can see they're rushing in here. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh no, they're going to get me. And make sure to protect your turbine, by the way. But, like, basically what would happen is you would, you would basically keep the turret placed down right here. There's a couple of things you can do. You can keep the turret placed down and then have the turbine basically on the d-pad and then like right when they're about to get to you to kill you you can place down the turbine and thus the turret will activate and take them out so i like to use this as a last defense just sit right here and just freaking blaze up zombies now keep in mind it does have a cooldown but in order to take that cooldown away very quick just go ahead and pick up the turbine and place it back down again as you can see like i said the turbine will break so keep that in mind so you might want to do this online or split screen or whatever with a couple of buddies you know just like two or three turbines there but again the bad thing about this it does not give you any points so yeah so i would only use this as a last defense as i like to use that i like to just sit up here a lot of times and just rack up the points and leave the turn there and then basically when when i'm about to get like done for you know you can see it'll lock onto him but it won't shoot him if you don't have a power source but as I said, I like to use that last defense when it gets really, really like when there when there's like at least five zombies around here. I'll put down the turbine. It'll activate the turret and it'll just go ballistic. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is how to make the lawn mower turret. Like I said, keep in mind you do need the turbine. You can also place it right here, I guess. So basically, what you could do is you could uh, you could blast that door right there while the turret gets the window and the door. So. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys later. Peace.